This is the 2024 F-150 Lariat, and I'm going to tell you in this video why this may be the most useless F-150 trim level ever created. This is a video series where we cover every trim level of the new F-150, and this one we're going to be talking about the Lariat. And why I'm so excited about this is because there's been a lot of changes in the packaging and the options that are available on all of the different trim levels. Obviously, this is one trim level higher than the XLT, and I'm going to cover in this video all of the things you need to know about this particular truck, and let's start with the front end of the vehicle. Now, as you can see, the hood looks very similar, if not identical, to the 2023, but you will notice the grille is completely different. This is a Lariat, so this is going to be the very first time you're going to see a daytime running lamp on the headlight itself. On XLTs and below, you actually get a surround where Ford is calling it their coast to coast grill, meaning that the grill goes from one end of the truck to the other. But instead, because you have the higher trim level, you get this daytime running lamp. You also get some dynamic bending headlights built into this vehicle. That's exactly what I'm trying to tell you is as you turn the steering wheel, so does the headlights. Pretty trick little technology that they've got on these higher trim level trucks. This particular F-150 is a chrome package truck. That's the reason you've got the chrome surround, you've got the chrome inserts in the grill, as well as the chrome bumper. There are black appearance packages available for the truck if that's something you're wanting, but this one happens to be equipped with the chrome package. Now, moving around to the side, I wanna show you a couple of other things that are not changed and some things that are changed, but you're gonna notice this fender badge. The entire fender is completely unchanged from 23 model to 24 because the 24 is a mid-cycle refresh. That is important to know. And by the way, make sure you watch this video all the way through because we're going to go into detail on why I think this may be the most useless trim level that Ford has ever created on the F-150. And it might surprise you, so make sure you watch all the way through. But this is completely the same as the previous generation. You've got the wheels and tires are going to be updated, or the wheel is anyways, but this is a Hankook Dynapro AT2 tire. This is a 20-inch wheel. It's a 275-60R20 as far as the size of the tire. And that is because this truck is equipped with the FX4 package. Do you know that Ford Motor Company reduced the number of parts on the F-150 on average by like 1,500 parts? There was news articles all over the place that talks about that. And one of the ways they did that is they reduced the order complexity of the vehicle. Things like the power boost. In 2023, you had like an engine plenum cover, but in 24, they got rid of that. It's small things like that that can overall reduce the cost of the vehicle or increase the profits of Ford Motor Company. But you'll notice this particular truck does have the manual steps, but as I mentioned to you, this one does have the FX4 package. What do you get on the FX4 package? You get some off-road shocks You get off, that are off-road tuned, that is. You get lockers in the rear end of the vehicle, as well as some skid plates and a cool feature called hill descent control, where you're going off-road, you hit the button, it's very steep. The car will basically put you on a cruise control for going down steep hills. Pretty cool stuff. Now let's take a look in the back of the vehicle. Now this is gonna be the first trim level that Ford has got us with a power up, power down tailgate. So that is kind of nice to have. Now, this is not the first time you've ever seen this in a Ford F-150, but as far as low trim level to high trim level, this is the first time. And so if you have to have this power up, power down tailgate, this is where you're going to find it the least expensive. Meaning this feature is not available on an XLT. So let's kind of cover a couple of other things for you. You've got your cameras located right here, as well as a light here. So as you're backing up, you can actually see the trailer ball a whole lot better when you're backing up to that trailer. It's a really sweet little setup. But the other part of this is that is designed to illuminate a barcode that is on the trailer itself. Why is that? Because this vehicle has a pro trailer backup assist, meaning that the truck is looking for, with the camera, looking for this barcode that's placed onto your trailer. And if it can see that, the truck will actually steer for you. I know a lot of people struggle with trying to back up a trailer. Well, with this setup, all you have to do is turn the knob. You want the trailer to go to the right, turn the knob to the right. 
You want the trailer to go to the left, turn the knob to the left. The truck does all the calculations to turn the steering wheel exactly where you want that trailer to go. So that is a pretty sweet little setup. Now I want to show you something you might have seen in some of our other videos, but it is noteworthy and I need to make sure that you understand what's going on. This particular truck does have the bed utility package on it. Now one thing you need to know about the bed utility package, depending on when you order the truck, it will come with that new Pro Access tailgate where it swings open from the side. It's a pretty sweet little setup. This particular truck was an earlier build. Um, by the way, I do believe it is available at the time that I'm making this video. So if you want to buy your F-150 from a dealership that knows what the crap they're talking about, check out Town & Country Ford. The phone number is right there on the screen. We'll take care of you if you pick out an inventory piece. But the other thing is, is if you wanted to place an order, we'll be happy to honor that invoice pricing on all F-150 orders. So with that being said, because this vehicle has the pro access tailgate removal option, you still have the bed utility package, which means that I can't, my, my thumb ain't working today. <laughs> but you have got a full blown tailgate step to get in and out of the bed of the truck. Take a look right here. We have a 400 watt power plug in this vehicle. Now there's a couple of different versions of these plugs, depending on how you have your vehicle equipped. Case in point, this one's got the 400 watt outlet, but if you go with something like a power boost engine, which is the hybrid system we talked about in the previous video, you can actually get up to 7.2 kilowatts of continuous power out of the bed of this truck, which is pretty wild. But for most people, 400 watts is a pretty good option for you. Not only that, but you also have another plug inside of the vehicle, inside the cabin, and we're gonna talk about that here in just a second. A couple of other things about the bed utility package, you've got the LCD or LCD, <laughs> you've got the LED setup in the bed of the trucks. So that way it illuminates. As you can see, this third brake light illuminates as well as these two lights. Not a new feature, but a fun feature nonetheless. The bed utility package also comes with these tie down hooks located right here but these tie down hooks are on every single F-150. So with that being said, you've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. You've got eight tie down points in the bed of this truck. And that's not if you don't count the actual tailgate itself. So take a look at this on the tailgate itself. Yeah, you've got your, your tailgate step, but did you know you've got two more tie down hooks right here? The idea there is if you have lumber kind of hanging out the back, you can actually put a tie down hook there, a tie down hook on the other side and ratchet those things down to the tailgate so you don't have to worry about them sliding out of the bed of the truck. The inside of the F-150 Lariat is probably where you're thinking you're going to be seeing the biggest difference between the XLT, the Lariat, and the Platinum. And I'm here to tell you this is why I think this may or may not be the most useless F-150 trim level ever created, or at least that's what I used to think. So what do I mean by that? Well, if you're comparing this F-150 Larry to an XLT, I would wanna know what am I getting on this truck that I'm not getting on the XLT? If I pay the extra amount of money, which I'm gonna cover the difference here in just a second, but if I'm gonna pay this all this extra money, what do I get? So the first thing I wanna talk about is the four wheel drive system located right here. You've got the two high, the four high, and the four low, but with the Lariat, you now get the 4A. That means that you get all wheel drive in the truck. So if you have an XLT and below, you have a two high, four high, four low, meaning the four high and four low are not intended for street use. But if you get with the Lariat and you have slushy or icy conditions on the road and you need all wheel drive all the time, you tap that 4A and it's intended for street use. That is a pretty neat little setup. They, I think Ford calls that their two speed transfer case is what they call that. So what else do you get in a Lariat that you don't pick up in the XLT? Well, the XLT has leather and it has heated seats, but the Lariat is the first time in the series where you're actually gonna find air conditioned seats or Ford is calling it their ventilated seats because it's not actually cold air getting pumped through the seats, but it's actually just normal air that is getting ventilated. It's not actually air conditioned seats, if that makes any sense. Just a little nuance for you. Now we've already talked about the headlights, but I think it's worth noting that all of these F-150s are gonna come with not just the, the, the headlights, but automatic on and off, but you also have auto high beams. That's on every single one of these F-150s. But once again, the dynamic bending and the fancy, fancy, fancy headlights are found exclusively on the Lariat trim level. In addition to that, I wanna talk about this right here. This is the first option that you get rain sensing windshield wipers as standard equipment. So I thought you actually got that on the XLT, but in preparation for this video, I realized 
that the rain sensing windshield wipers are only found on the lariats and above. Now, the last thing I want to talk about, and some people absolutely have to have this option, and some people are like, I don't give a crap if it's on there, and that is going to be this. This is the universal garage door opener, and it basically allows you to get rid of your garage door opener and program everything into the truck itself. Me, I've got that in my vehicle, and I've never set it up, so I just keep using the normal one. So once again, some people are absolutely got to have it. Some people just don't really care either way. Now I want to show you another thing that I love about the truck, but to do that, I need to get in the truck. So let's do that. Why would you do that? Why would you do any of that? The next thing I want to talk about is something this truck is not even equipped with, and that is going to be the heads up display. And the reason this truck is not equipped with it is because this is a 501A equipment group. And if you're new to Ford, Ford packages even inside of specific trim levels, different option codes that allow you to package stuff differently. So the base version of the Lariat is a 501, and the higher up version is a 502A equipment group. And by the way, I'll put it on screen so you can see what each one comes with in detail, if that's something you're interested in. But the heads-up display is standard equipment on a 502A equipment group. This is a 501. So there's no way to get a, a heads-up display on a 501 if that's something that you're interested in. So just know that as you're ordering the vehicle or as you're picking out your vehicle off of the lot. The other thing that I wanna talk about is this right here, the Bang & Olufsen audio system. This is the exact same B&O audio system that you can find in an XLT F-150. Why do I even bring that up? The reason I bring it up is because if you go with the 502A equipment group, you get the Bang & Olufsen Unleashed system, where you go from eight speakers into 14 speakers, which we showed you in a previous video on the F-150 Platinum, where you get speakers up in here, you get tweeters everywhere, you get speakers everywhere. It's like 14 speakers. And so just know that there's a difference between a 501 and a 502. But in addition to that, I wanna talk about a few other things on the inside of the truck that may not be Lariat specific but are noteworthy. I'll take a look at this. You've got a household outlet plug. So we talked about it earlier. You have a 400 watt outlet plug in the bed of the truck. We have one in the front seat. You also have one available to the passengers in the back of the vehicle as well. It's nice that Ford is giving you that versatility. Now I want to cover these buttons right in here. Auto start stop. Everybody's favorite feature is located right here. You've got your camera control button because this is a Lariat. You get the 360 degree camera system and you can even adjust it to what kind of camera system you're wanting to go with. You even have your parking setup, which I've got that in previous vehicles and never once used it, but that's neither here nor there. Uh, this is that hill descent control button that I was talking to you about earlier, where if you press that button, it will allow the vehicle to creep down the hill and not have to ride the brakes. It kind of does it for you. It kind of takes the guesswork out of off-roading. The back seat of the F-150 Super Crew is where the magic happens, or so they said on MTV Cribs. Uh, so it's not where the magic happens. I just wanted to prove a point of how much leg room this thing has. As you guys know, I am six foot three and this seat is actually in the proper driving location. So as a six foot three person, if I'm driving this vehicle, the F-150, this is where I would want the seat. Look how much extra leg room I've got here. Not only that, but the comfort in the Super Crew, by the way, Super Crew is available on all of the F-150 trim levels. You can get it all the way through. And in some cases, you don't have a choice. You have to get the Super Crew. But let's talk about the back seat cabin configuration and how much comfort you have back there. Well, I will say that as my back is all, my butt's all the way up against the back, my head is getting kind of close to the, to the roof or, or touching it. But I, you know, as I get you know more comfortable, I probably would want to sit down here, slouch down like this. It's very rare where I've got, you know, but yeah, this is proof that I'm six foot three. But either way, I think the back seat in the space is absolutely fantastic. I'm gonna hop back out for a second to show you um, something that I like about the truck is that, that you have a couple of different options in the back seat of this vehicle. This one does not have it, but there is an optional storage underneath the seat. And so I kind of like this setup because you've got a much flatter area to, uh, to lay stuff down or if you need to put a flat screen TV, all of that kind of stuff in the vehicle. So it's nice that you have the flexibility. Now, while I've got this open back here, I want to show you, you have got two USB-C ports and that outlet that we talked about quite a few different times is also found in the back as well as a normal 12-volt outlet located right there. So a pretty sweet little setup. But 
you guys know what my trick is. This cab is so big, you can walk through it and be six foot three and not have many issues. And you're talking about a guy that's got a broken back. So <laughs> if I can do it, you can do it too. Let's talk about engines for a quick second. This vehicle happens to have a 3.5 liter EcoBoost. And if you don't know what that is, I'm gonna tell you here in just a second. But what comes standard on the F-150 Lariat is actually the 5.0 V8. And what's crazy about this engine is that if you opt for the 3.5 EcoBoost, it's a $90 option. What? You, that, that is the lowest cost to increase the horsepower and torque on any vehicle that I think I've ever seen. And yes, I did say that if you go down to the six cylinder, you actually get more horsepower, more torque, and more towing capability if you go with that 3.5 EcoBoost. Another option for engines is going to be the Power Boost. The Power Boost is a 3.5 EcoBoost. Well, technically it's a Power Boost, but it's a 3.5 twin turbo, uh, but it's made it to a hybrid transmission and battery pack in the back. So I promise you I'll tell you a little bit more about the EcoBoost engines and technologies. We've actually got dedicated videos that talk about that in detail, but let me give you the Cliff's Notes right now. The EcoBoost is a 3.5 liter V6. It has two turbos and that turbo creates more horsepower when you need it. And the idea there is if you stay your foot off the pedal, it will get you a little bit more economy. That's where the Eco Boost comes from, is economy, but boost when you need it. Kind of, you know, whatever, you know. But it's nice that you've got a couple of different engine options available to you. So now let's talk about the value of the Lariat versus the XLT, because that's probably why you're watching this video all the way through. If you look at our previous video, you'll know that you can actually order an F-150 XLT all the way up to $73,000 MSRP. But if you order an F-150 Lariat and order it all the way out, it comes out to about $77,000. So the question becomes, do you think that all of these options are worth an extra $4,000?